What's going on? My name is Jim, and I'm the host of the O1 Software Networks Peer Programming Session. If you're watching this video, you're going to be attending one of our sessions. In this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the server to help you navigate the channels and collaborate more effectively with your team or your partner. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about Visual Studio Code and the live share extension that we use to collaborate with our partners. I'm also going to give you a little bit of information about live server, um, which is another extension that helps you collaborate more effectively. And I'm going to give you a little bit of information about Front End Mentor, which is a website we use to choose projects. If you have a project idea and you don't want to use someone else's project idea, that's totally fine. You're not going to need Front End Mentor, so keep that in mind. The first thing you're going to see when you drop into the server is the Start Here channel. And you're going to see this template that allows you to introduce yourself to the rest of the community. Go ahead, copy that, go to the Introductions channel, paste that, and fill it in and introduce yourself. You can see Omar and Mike have both already done that. These are long-term members, so do that. And then we have a little bit of information about the channels in the share category. So go ahead, read the start here, then drop down to the read me. If you've already read this, you have all the information you need to start one of these sessions, but feel free to continue watching this video as well. In the read me, you have access to this video that you're watching the Visual Studio Code link to download and install Visual Studio Code, the Front End Mentor link for those who want ideas for their projects, and a little bit of information just about the session. After you've read the start here and the README, drop down into the introductions, introduce yourself. Now there's going to be one of two things. Either I'm going to be sitting here in the coordinator voice channel waiting just to greet people who come in, or I'm not. If you see me in there, feel free to drop in, say hi. If not, then drop down into one of these channels here. We have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. This section determines your team. If you've been coding for zero to one years, drop into the beginner voice channel. If you've been coding for one to two years, drop into the intermediate channel. And if you've been coding for two plus years, drop into the advanced channel. And when I say coding, I mean front-end web development in the browser or mobile development. If you've been using C++ for 20 years, that doesn't mean you drop into advanced because there's, these are people who have been coding with React or Angular front-end web development for two plus years. They're just, when comparing you to them, it's just, you might be holding them back a little bit and you don't want to do that. You want to land into the voice channel with someone who's at your level and that's, beginner that's cool it, it doesn't matter how long you've been coding in another language if you're brand new or you have only been coding front-end web development for one month drop into the beginner okay so we have these three channels drop down into the one that is most fitting for you we have some other channels I'm not going to go over them too much but we have a shared channel just for sharing your accomplishments yesterday your goals for today your obstacles and um, achievements for today sharing your project so if you uh, want to share your project after you're done with your session after you and your partner sign off go ahead and share the github link in the project and it's great because you share your code you get feedback from other developers you look at other people's code that they shared and you learn a lot faster when you're reading other people's code and providing feedback to them it's a really really great channel then resources um, for like free code camps cs50 or if you come across something that you found value in and you think would benefit other people share that in the resources section and then any ideas and feedback questions you have about the server feel free to leave that there. We have some core technologies and frameworks. If you think we should add anything here, ideas and feedback section. So that is the server. Um, let me just give you a little bit of information. If you drop into the beginner voice channel, you can see that I'm muted and I'm deafened. So go ahead and unmute right here or undeafen right here. Sometimes we know people are talking, but they're muted and they don't realize that they're muted. So if you have if you're actually unmuted and people still can't hear you go to settings voice and video and 
change your default device and you should be good to go. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. So that's the information you need about the server to get started. Drop down into the voice channel that is most fitting for you. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about Visual Studio Code. Once you type in Visual Studio Code into Google, it's going to bring you here. Go ahead and download and install. This is going to download the installer. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click install. Next, next, next. Create a desktop icon and you'll have Visual Studio Code. It's very similar to any other software you've installed, but if you're having trouble with it, just go to YouTube and type in setting up Visual Studio Code. You're gonna get a video that helps you get all set up, and they might even give you some extensions that are pretty useful, so it might be a good idea just to watch the YouTube video to get set up anyways. That's Visual Studio Code, and I'm just gonna do a detour to Visual Studio Code really quickly. Um, so once you have Visual Studio Code set up, you go ahead and open it. You're going to want to download and install two extensions. So go to View, Extensions. The first extension is LiveShare. So go ahead and type in LiveShare there. LiveShare is created by Microsoft, and it's a super great tool for collaboration for anyone who's ever used Google Docs. If I create a Google Doc and I send you the link, you're going to be able to enter the Google Doc. And if we're both in the Google Doc at the same time, if you make edits, I see those edits happening in real time. If I make edits, you see them happening in real time. So LiveShare is basically the Google Docs, but for code editing, for code editors. So same thing, just like Google Docs. When I share the link with you, you click that link, and you hop into my code editor. Any changes to the code you make, I'm going to see them happening in real time. Any changes to the code I make, you're going to see them happening in real time. That's what makes it such a great collaborative tool. So go ahead, click Live Share. Mine says uninstall. Yours is going to say install if you don't have it yet. Go ahead, click install, and it's a super quick install. Once you have it installed, you're going to see Live Share down here, and when you hover over it, it'll say start collaboration session. So go ahead and click that, starting collaboration session. And you are going to see a link copied to my clipboard once it gets started. Let's just give that one minute, and then I will get the link, and I'll show you exactly where you want to post that link. Um, cool. Just give it one second. Invitation link copied to clipboard. So if I go over to Discord. Let's just say, for example, I'm in the beginner section. My partner or my team is in the beginner section. Go to open chat, post that link right there in the chat. And when your partners click that link, then they are going to be able to enter your code editor. When you click that link, the first thing is going to ask you if you want to sign in through GitHub or sign in through the, or it's going to ask you if you want to sign in through Visual Studio Code or sign in through the browser. You're going to want to sign in through Visual Studio Code. It's less buggy, but the browser works as well. We, it used to be more buggy. We haven't had too many issues lately if you sign in with the browser. So either or works. I always use Visual Studio Code, so I'm coding in the actual application, but either works. Then you're going to see something pop up on the bottom right. Do you want to sign in as a guest or do you want to sign in through GitHub? I always sign in through GitHub. I feel like it's less buggy but feel free to sign in as a guest as well. Like I said, like three, four, five months ago, it was more buggy than it is now. Now it's been pretty flawless. Either way works. So um, signing in through Visual Studio Code or the browser and signing in through GitHub or as a guest, just use whatever one you prefer. So once they click that link, you are going to I'm going to go back over to the Explorer, and you are going to see this Live Share section down here. So once people start coming into your code editor, you're going to see the participants right here. This is where they're going to pop up. You can send them chats or anything like that. The second extension that you're going to want to install is Live Server. So let me go back to View, Extensions, Live server 
and this is another great popular tool you could see 35 million downloads go ahead and install it it's very quick installation and you'll see a go live button down here if you don't see it if you don't see live share or you don't see the live server button after you install them just close your visual studio code and then open it back up and they should be there but when you click let me go back to view explorer so i can see the file system when you click go live it's actually going to open up the project in the browser on my computer and one of the problems that we encountered in the past was i would have it open on my computer but you wouldn't have it open in the browser on your computer and so you would have to look at my screen to see the application that we're working on with live server you could actually go to once you have it up and running you see port 50 you click go live you could do share server and the url that popped up in the browser from live server you just go ahead and click share server and click enter enter it right there and now we have this so anyone who entered your code editor who clicked the live share link who is your partner can now click this live server and it'll open up in their browser so they don't have to look at your screen to see the project you're working on so it's super great tool with these two tools collaboration is made so easily and that's why we use visual studio code that's why we use live share that's why we use live server so that is visual studio code and same thing if you have any questions on that you think there's any improvements we could make Go ahead and just leave that in the ideas and feedback section. And last but not least, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of Front End Mentor. And this is for the people who need project ideas. If you're coming with a project idea or you already know you're going to be working on something with your partner, you could skip this entirely. But go to Front End Mentor, create an account, and it's free. Go to Challenges, and then you could filter by... I always do free and then filter by if you're in the beginner section I would say check out the newbie and junior project they have tons of cool ones if you are in the intermediate section I would say junior or an intermediate one and if you're in the advanced I would say just go straight to advanced try one of these ones though some of the intermediate ones are really cool as, as well, and they're just components that are really useful or are nice to know how to create. Like this isn't a simple one, you know, but it's nice. It's nice for advanced people as well. So that is front end mentor. And let's just say I'm gonna build this IP address tracker. I can click that IP address tracker, do start challenge. Let me just log in really quickly. And doo -doo 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 -doo. all right, so I'm logged in. You click Start Challenge, and you could download the starter pack. It's downloaded right here, and then once this is downloaded, you could actually let's just say this is the directory where I'm going to be doing my projects out of. Then once this is done downloading, I just extract all and I bring that to my desktop project and select folder, extract. And then you could see if I go to my projects, I have my IP address tracker and this is everything you need right here. It has the index where you're going to be building the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the design, so you actually have pictures of the project so you know exactly what it's going to look like. You also have a mobile design picture. And you also have um, style guides, so it's going to give you information about the colors that are used, the font sizes, the font families, all that stuff. You have everything you need to start building the project. And then you just do code space dot in your command line, open up your code editor, or you could go to 
the Visual Studio Code and do open folder, desktop, projects, select folder, and you can see it opens up right in there. And you have access to everything you need. The images, these are actually the images you're going to be using. And no matter what project you choose, you get everything you need to start building the project. So, yeah, that's all you need to get started right there. You're going to see people popping into these voice channels. Feel free to pop into one of these voice channels. Work with whoever you want to. Complete your project. Do the best you possibly can. And then share your project at the end of the night in the projects directory. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Happy coding.